Welcome to this video exploring the fascinating history of Tyrian purple, a rare and highly coveted color that was particularly prized in ancient times. This hue was created from the glands of sea snails, which were only found in the eastern Mediterranean region. Its rarity and exquisite quality made it synonymous with royalty, and it was often reserved for the garments of kings and emperors. Join us as we delve into the intriguing origins and cultural significance of Tyrian purple. The process of making Tyrian purple was so difficult that it remained a closely guarded secret for centuries. It is said that the Phoenicians, who were skilled traders and seafarers, were the first to discover the dye. They kept the secret to themselves and traded the dye at exorbitant prices. They established colonies throughout the Mediterranean, including in present-day Lebanon, Tunisia, and Spain, bringing their knowledge of dye-making with them. The dye got its name from the city of Tyre, which was one of the most important cities of the ancient Phoenician civilization. Tyre was located in present-day Lebanon, and it was the center of the dye-making industry in ancient times. The city was also renowned for its impressive architecture and engineering. It was built on two islands, and had a system of canals that allowed ships to enter the city's harbor directly, making it a bustling hub of activity and commerce. The Greek mythographer Iolios Polydokis, in his Onomasticon, writing in the 2nd century CE, asserted that the purple dye was first discovered by the philosopher Heracles of Tyre, or rather by his dog, whose mouth was stained purple from chewing on snails along the coast at Tyre. This story was depicted by Peter Paul Rubens in his painting titled, Hercules' Dog Discovers Purple Dye. According to John Malalas, a Byzantine chronicler from Antioch, the incident happened during the reign of the legendary King Phoenix of Tyre, the eponymous progenitor of the Phoenicians, and therefore he was the first ruler to wear Tyrian purple and legislate on its use. Recently, the archaeological discovery of substantial numbers of murex shells on Crete suggests that the Minoans may have pioneered the extraction of imperial purple centuries before the Tyrians. Dating from collocated pottery suggests the dye may have been produced during the Middle Minoan period in the 20th-18th century BC. Tyrian purple was quickly adopted by other civilizations, like the Greeks, that considered it a royal color, and it was used to dye the robes of kings, queens, and other high-ranking officials. The Romans were also fond of Tyrian purple, and it became a symbol of imperial power and authority. The toga protexta, a white toga with a purple border, was worn by magistrates and high-ranking officials as a symbol of their status. The Byzantine Empire also used Tyrian purple extensively. It was a highly prized commodity and was used extensively in the imperial court. The dye was used to decorate the robes and garments of the emperors, as well as the vestments of high-ranking officials and members of the clergy. The Byzantine emperors were known for their lavish and ornate robes, which were often decorated with intricate designs and patterns made from Tyrian purple. The imperial court also employed skilled artisans and weavers who specialized in working with the dye, creating stunning fabrics and textiles that were used in both everyday wear and ceremonial garments. Because of its rarity and high cost, Tyrian purple was reserved exclusively for the highest levels of society in Byzantium. The use of the dye was tightly controlled by the state, and only members of the imperial court and a select few wealthy individuals had access to it. Despite its exclusivity, the use of Tyrian purple in Byzantium had a significant impact on the art and culture of the empire. The rich colors and luxurious fabrics created using the dye helped to define the aesthetics of the Byzantine court, and the legacy of Tyrian purple can still be seen in the art and architecture of the empire today. One of the most famous uses of Tyrian purple was for the burial shroud of Charlemagne, the Frankish king and emperor who died in 814 CE. According to legend, the shroud was made from Tyrian purple and was intricately woven with gold thread. It was decorated with images of the emperor and scenes from his life, and inscribed with the words Hikiaset Carolus Magnus, here lies Charlemagne, in gold letters. To make the dye, the snails were collected from the rocky shores of the eastern Mediterranean. The snails were carefully removed from their shells, and their glands, located near the head of the snail, were removed. The glands were then crushed and mixed with salt which was believed to aid in the extraction of the dye. The mixture was then left to ferment in the sun for several days. This process produced a thick black liquid that contained the purple pigment. The liquid was then boiled and the scum that rose to the surface was removed. This process was repeated several times until the desired color was achieved. After the dye was extracted, it was diluted with water to create different shades of purple. The more water that was added, 
the lighter the color became. The dye was also mixed with other substances, such as alum or tin, to create different hues and to make the color more stable. Overall, the process of making Tyrian purple was incredibly time-consuming and required a lot of skill and patience. It is no wonder that the dye was so highly prized and only used by the wealthiest and most powerful people of ancient times. The color of Tyrian purple was unlike any other. It was a deep, rich, and complex shade of purple, with undertones of red and blue. Its beauty was unmatched and it became a symbol of power, luxury, and royalty. Tyrian purple was so highly prized that it was even used as currency. The dye was traded across the Mediterranean and became one of the most important commodities of ancient times. It was also used in religious rituals and was believed to have magical properties. Even today, Tyrian purple continues to be held in high esteem for its exquisite beauty and unparalleled rarity. It is still used in the most exclusive fashion houses and high-end interior design, where it conveys a sense of unparalleled luxury and extravagance. Its enduring appeal as a symbol of prestige and refinement is a testament to the enduring legacy of this remarkable color. So, whether it's gracing the runway or adorning a grand palace, Tyrian purple continues to captivate and inspire us with its enduring allure. Thank you for joining us on this captivating journey through the history of Tyrian purple, a color that has mesmerized people for thousands of years. I hope you enjoyed learning about its origins, uses, and cultural significance. If you found this video informative and thought-provoking, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. We have many more fascinating videos about history and culture in store for you. So stay tuned and let's continue to explore the wonders of our world together.